Hey guys, hope you are having a great day. And today I'm going to be doing a Bass Pro and other tackle shop unboxing. So yeah, I went to Bass Pro this Thursday, picked up a bunch of stuff, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys all of it. Came up, the total price was around uh, 250 bucks. But before we get into the unboxing, uh, if you guys want to see a 500 subscriber giveaway, once we hit 500 subscribers, make sure to give this video a like. And if we hit 35 likes on this video, I'll do a 500 subscriber giveaway. So stay tuned for that if you guys want it. So now we're going to have a look at all the stuff in here. All the stuff that I got. So first I'm going to check out some apparel that I bought from Bass Pro. Uh, yeah, just two shirts here both smalls this one I really like this one just says Bass Pro on both of them this one's white and the other one's gray yeah I'll get this one out too if that's the front right there nice shirt and then that's the back so yeah two really nice shirts I'm gonna wear one right now for the unboxing might as well right there we go So yeah, I got two shirts, and now someone has to be mowing the lawn right when I'm about to film. So hopefully you guys can still hear me, but yeah, so I'm going to start with all my soft plastics that I bought, then get into my hard baits, and then just some accessories and other stuff like that. So yeah, soft plastics, um, but... Lots of swim baits here. So yeah, I've been fishing swim baits a lot, a lot lately. For smallmouth, they work really good. Especially this color right here. It's called uh, Smallmouth Magic. These guys are 3.8 three inches. And they come in a six pack. They're really good swim baits, the Bass Pro. They're by Bass Pro. So yeah, I love them. Come in a really nice packaging. and so they don't get all twirled up in that. I usually rig these guys on a weighted swim bait hook. So yeah, have a look at them right there. Really love this color, my favorite swim bait color. Yeah, it's really hot out, so I'm gonna put this stuff away after I take them out of the packaging so they don't melt. And yeah, I got another uh, package of them, another package of swim baits. This one's in a speed shad color, another six pack. 3.8 inches. Get one out to show you guys here. That's like a little gray top and then white on the bottom. It really matches uh, shad, but we don't have any up here. It kind of looks like a minnow too. So yeah, it's really good color for up here too. Yeah, those are the two packs of Bass Pro Swim Mates that I got. But I also got these 360 GT search baits by Storm. I've seen these uh, advertised a lot on Instagram and online. So I needed to pick up a pack. I saw them there. Um, there's a little rattle in the jig head for these guys. Uh, three, three and a half inch body. Yeah, they come with a BMC hook, so it's really good. So yeah. They look like really nice swim baits. So next up, I got two bags of soft plastics and that's all for the plastics here. So I'm almost out of four inch Psychos, so I decided to pick some up. These are Yum Dingers. I usually wacky rig these guys. And uh, yeah, they're watermelon pearl lamb color. Looks like a pretty interesting color. So I'll get, get one out to show. Yeah, there. Comes in a 10 pack, so it's quite a few in here. So yeah, the there's the watermelon side, and the back's pearl. It's just like a white. So yeah, that'll really work good. As I said, uh, wacky rigging for smallmouth up here, and yeah. Then the next pack is a pack of drop shot worm, worms by Zoom. Uh, watermelon red. They're called Z Drop Worm. Yeah, they look really nice too. Uh, obviously, I'm gonna put them on a drop shot, like in the title. So 
so yeah watermelon red color really nice uh, little worms there finesse worms and that is all for the soft classics so now we are gonna get into some hard baits I uh, got quite a few of them so first I'm gonna start off with uh, two hot and tots these are amazing lures for casting and trolling for walleye um, one of the buddies that uh, stays up camp with us up on the lake we went up fishing with him last weekend and he caught a few on on the blue one that I have here so yeah this is uh, I'm not sure what color this is a yellow perch chrome yellow perch color it's a really shiny color probably work really really good for walleye too so yeah I'm gonna give that a try trolling and also this one is um, met blue red so yeah it looks another really nice color the bill is red and then body is blue and chrome here so yeah another really nice bait really like this one okay so now on to some top water lures uh, I have two two rebel little top and frog things here yeah those would be good top water lures these were really cheap actually so I got those and also picked up two uh, other poppers here this one's a Rapala skitter pop surface popper in a sh just a shad color I'll actually take this one out. It looks like a really nice popper. It actually has a little bill on it. Most of the poppers just have an indent in their body. This one actually has a bill. I'm super excited to try this one. So yeah, that's the little palace skitter pop. And see, so yeah, look, it has the little plastic bill on it, which I'm really excited to try so yeah another nice colored lure and then also yozuri this one was pretty expensive but i really like this one when i saw it main reason is because main reason right here says special color when i saw this i was like insane um <laughs> no i'm just kidding i really this is a really nice popper though um so yeah, this Yozuri popper. I'll get this one out. Show you guys. Yeah, this is a bit of a longer popper than the other one. So yeah, this is a special color. It doesn't even say the color on it, but it must be special. Looks really nice. Like blue top and then kind of a bit of chartreuse sides. Yeah, I really like this one. That'll be good for some top water smallmouth when they're hitting those top waters. Then also, I uh, got Bass Pro Jig and Wrap. It's called the Dashing Jack. It's just a Bass Pro Rapala Jig and Wrap, pretty much. I got this for jigging for walleye actually in the summer. I got a bigger version because I have lots of little ones in the winter. But I got this one mainly mainly for jigging in the summer. Um, it's a bit of a bigger profile than my winter ones, and. I've heard a lot of people do well on jigging wraps in the summer, just jigging them up and down because they do have some good action. Yeah, this is just a little blue, blue and chrome one. Looks really nice, and I'll probably be using this in the winter too. It's a really nice one. So yeah, and then last of the hard baits, this is uh, Strike King KVD uh, diver, deep diver. That is the eight feet, so not super deep. But this one, I'm actually gonna be using for trolling for walleye too. Uh, it's, I think it's bluegill color, neon bluegill, yeah. It's actually a really nice color too. So I've got this eight foot diver, neon bluegill KVD. It's a really, really nice color. Yeah, so that's all for the crankbaits. And now we're going to get into some terminal tackle and jigs and accessories and stuff. So, I only have one swim jig, so I decided to pick up three more. 
Uh, this is the Booyah swimming jig in a white kind of color. It's called a uh, white shad. So yeah. I bought this one because it's going to match really nicely with the swim baits I got. So I'm going to pair those up. So yeah, that's the jig right there. It has a little rattle in it. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but also that head to go through grass and then that weed guard right there. So yeah, it's a really nice skirted. I like this skirt. And yeah, they're going to pair that up with the swim baits I got. The same, same color uh, shad. And then I got two other swim baits too. Uh, this one's almost the same color. It's just a bit of a different style. Bass Pro brand. So it was a bit cheaper. So yes, pretty much the same color pattern on it. Still a nice, really nice uh, swim jig. And then another same jig as the last one, except in a different color. So yeah, that's that's the other jig. So that's all for the swim jigs. And now I bought lots of swim bait hooks and jig heads for all the swim baits I got. So these are uh, the jig heads. They're three sixteenths, uh, one aught hooks, and a five pack. Yeah, these look like really nice swim jig heads. Yeah, I got those on for a pretty good deal too. Three sixteenths. So yeah, those will be putting with the jig heads or the swim baits, and also got two packs of these Eagle Claw swim bait hooks weighted swim bait hooks um get one out see so yeah, how these also look like nice swim bait hooks you just see i got the interlock thing right there and the little weight at the bottom see so yeah, how those are really nice too i also believe these are 3 16th of an ounce yeah and four aught hooks and both a three pack So now moving on to some uh, some weights right here. These are bullet weights coming in a hundred pack, which is <laughs> quite a few. Don't think I'll be running out anytime soon. So these I'll just use for when I'm Texas rigging. I don't Carolina rig at all. I'm up here for smallmouth. So these actually look like pretty nice weights. Just little bullet weights. Yeah, these Bass Pro Shop brand. Uh, they are one eighth of an ounce so next thing I got some real grips if you guys are wondering why the package is ripped it's because the camera decided it was going to stop filming and I was still talking up and I didn't know that so yeah some packages are open I was done the unboxing but I'll do it again I guess so yeah I got some real grips just two little black ones put on the real handles and after that I got two uh, lure covers, one's blue over here, this one already unboxed, a little blue one. Uh, these are good for when you when you have crankbaits and you don't want your hooks to get everywhere and hook into stuff and line to get tangled everywhere. This, is, this just keeps your lures just secure and out of everything, out of, out of the way and you don't have to worry about getting yourself hooked and um, after that I did buy a rod glove. Also, on my rod right now, it's just a black rod glove. It's a nice one. And those are to protect your eyes and uh, get the line uh, so it doesn't tangle everywhere too. Helps that. And then last thing, but not least, these are very important to have when you're out ice fishing, ice picks. Um, these ones are made by, by a repeller called Ice Claws, so when you fall in, you can just whip these guys out, grab onto the ice and pull yourself up. Really good tools to have, and then once you're not using them, you just put them like that. Put them in your pocket, put them in your sled or something, and yeah, those will work good. So, I think I got everything on film, hopefully. And, uh... Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this unboxing. If you did, make sure to give it a like. And remember about the giveaway. 
So yeah, if you guys want to see a giveaway or if you like the video, make sure to give it a like. And uh, but yeah, make sure to subscribe also. And thank you guys for watching the video.